Renting a house with a bloody past? Just another Tuesday in Hollywood. Maybe Jeff Franklin thought, why not add some spooky vibes to my real estate portfolio? Seriously, what's next? Renting Dracula's castle for full house reruns? I can just imagine the real estate ad, cozy three bedroom home with a history of cult murders, perfect for horror enthusiasts and history buffs alike. Bonus, ghostly apparitions included at no extra charge. Sounds like a dream, right? You think your landlord is bad? Try explaining to your friends that, oh, by the way, Charles Manson's crew used to hang out here. That's one heck of a conversation starter. So you wanna come over for dinner? I bet the neighborhood gatherings are quite the thrill. Hey Bob, saw your new renters moved in, mind the ghosts. Meanwhile, the local bakery changes its special to haunted house buns to cash in on the spooky vibes. Jeff Franklin renting out a Manson murder property What's next? Maybe he'll produce a sitcom based on the tenant's experiences. Full Ghost, The House That Haunts, coming this fall. Get ready for some bootiful laughs. Imagine the potential Airbnb reviews. Stayed in a place with a bit of a dark history. Five stars for authenticity, though. Totally recommend if you're into spooky vibes and questionable life choices. Would you be brave enough to live in this infamous property? Would you host a Halloween party for your wildest friends, or would you be too spooked by the shadows of the past? Let us know your ghostly game plan. Like and subscribe, please.